So, this is another method of how to get Sharpie off of a uh, console or a video game. Uh, I'm just using this console because it's a lot easier. Whoever SB must have stand for son of a bitch. What you want to do is get a shot glass, fill it up with 99% proof rubbing alcohol, or 99, 90, or 99% proof alcohol. You can pick it up at the Evil Corporation Walmart. And while you're there, you want to pick up a toothbrush. A stiff bristle, the better. Um, pretty much, you take your toothbrush, and the uh, best way to do it, start scrubbing. Okay, now once in, of course. Buttons, you can wait. Pretty much, where this method kind of sucks is you have to do this for almost hours. I mean, actually, that's a lie. It's going to be about 10, 15 to 20 minutes of straight up scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Uh, I've seen other ways you can do it, um, but literally this is the, old school, the old, oldest school method you will find of getting a sharpie off of a uh, console. Tap it again, get some more of this stuff. But the great thing is, is with the rum and alcohol, outside of, um, on cards, I mean, it, it's, it's perfect to actually clean a console. An all over scrub down of a console, um, and getting in, you know, this method with the toothbrush and getting into the crevices and stuff like that, is a great way to clean a console. And, you know, that's where it came with the whole Sharpie cleaning, uh, cleaning out. Sharpie was, you know, someone had the time and they just scrubbed the piss out of it. To prove it's actually working. You can see it coming off. It is a lot lighter than when I started out. Um, Again, the, the difference here is that, you know, the toothbrush is a unitasker and the alcohol is a unitasker. You can use the alcohol to clean your consoles, uh, clean your game cards, and you can use the toothbrush just to clean a whole console. Um, so, you know, unlike the Magic Erase where, you know, I wouldn't use it to clean uh, an entire console because the thing's three, four bucks, um, you know, you're spending four bucks. And you're getting a product that uh, can be used multiple times uh, and can be used for multiple things. Um, because, you know, if you're doing reselling of games and stuff like that, you don't want a high cost. You want very low cost and a trade-in value. All right? So, you know, if you're just trading it into a place or you're selling it, you can make, get the most profit. So, you know, this technique's really good if you just don't want to spend up the you know, extra couple of dollars to... Uh, uh, you know, by the magic race. And like I said, it does work. It's getting very, very light. Um, you know, the uh, color is going away. So, I mean, it, it's not a bad uh, technique to do. It's just you need to be very patient uh, doing it. Um, you know, this might actually take me a hell of a lot longer to do than just grabbing the magic race. Uh, the magic race. We'll probably take care of this in a couple of seconds. Um, where this is, you're going to be spending some time. Uh, there is a variation of this, uh, which I will be probably doing here shortly. Uh, that works a little bit faster and a little better. Uh, but like I was saying with the rub and alcohol, you don't want to be uh, putting in a lot on the label. Any of this lands on the label of the game cart, um, it will eat it straight up. It will take the ink off of the... Uh, uh, and the ink 
off of the paper. So uh, here I'm just going to show you pretty much this is what I've done in five minutes. It's a lot lighter. Um, it's still noticeable. You can still see it. So what I'm going to do is uh, take the magic erase brush and show you the difference in speed. Okay, give me a second. Completely gone. So that is a better technique if you want to save a lot of money. Magic erase brush, good as hell, and I'm sorry that it sounds like a possession's occurring in my house.